Hi everyone! This video is going to be somewhat different from my other knife making videos because with this knife I want to try a couple of techniques I never done before and in this video you are watching right now, as you may have already guessed from the title I'm only doing the Amon on this blade I hope you'll enjoy this quick video and if you know better ways to develop an Amon please let everybody know in the comments and maybe I'll try some other techniques too all right this is the knife i want to do all the tests with so as you can see i already tried the different shapes for the handle and that's why it has all these random holes in the tank this is also the perfect opportunity for me to try out my new grinding jig so here you can also see how i secure the blade to the jig with two bolts and nuts And I have to say it works great, much more solid and consistent than the wooden block I used before. To grind with the jig I started with a very aggressive angle to establish the bevels, then I can gradually increase the angle to take the bevels down to the spine. For this blade I ground to roughly 15 degrees. Now that I'm happy with the bevels, I wrap the blade with regular steel wire and I just saw Niels from Black Dragon Forge doing this on his blade to help the clay stick. So I will leave a link in the video description to his channel and I suggest you to check him out. Instead of clay, I'm trying refractory cement rated to 1200 degrees Celsius and I left it to cure overnight before hardening the blade. Since I have a coke forge I need to be very careful to not overheat the blade, so I'm always moving it from side to side until it reaches critical temperature. This blade is 1070 high carbon steel, so I can check with a magnet to know when it's up to temperature. Now I'm tempering the blade with my DIY electric oven for 2 hours at 200 degrees C. After two hours I can clean it up, 
so I use the belt grinder and I still have the same setting on my grinding jig so I can use that to clean up and refine the bevels. After the belt grinder I also sand it all by hand up to 800 grit and then I place it in ferric chloride for one hour or so. To neutralize the acid I use a solution of water and sodium bicarbonate and I also apply a thick coat of oil immediately after to prevent rust. At this point I sand the blade with high grit sandpaper because it's all very rough and I do my best to not push too hard on the ammon line because after all it's just a surface finish and if you sand too aggressively you can take it off completely. <laughs> 